Can't believe I just got that. Literally my first ever. I've never had one before. Today I'm back here at the Wire Forest near Kidderminster. Let's see what we can find. So, as I was getting my stuff ready, you know, I just pulled up. A, a great spotted woodpecker was just up in the tree, hammering right near me. So it's a bit of a uh, bit of a rush job to get my camera out. So uh, that footage might not be the most stable. Also, after that, I had a kingfisher absolutely dart it by, as they tend to do. But uh, was not prepared for that either. So yeah, I missed that one. But yeah, today we're gonna have a little wander around. We're gonna see what we can find. It has been raining a lot lately, so the river is fairly high. But you know, I've got high hopes for all sorts of different woodland species. Only time will tell. Now, between you and me, I have got one species in mind today. I don't know what the likelihood of finding it is. And you know, chances are, if I have found it, it's probably in the thumbnail or mentioned somewhere. But um, what I'm after today is dippers. I know they're around in the area, but uh, it's just a case of getting lucky and actually finding one. So I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm going to spend some time in a few different spots down the river, you know, checking out the ripples and any sort of fast flowing bits and uh, keeping my eyes open. Hopefully soon I'll be hearing one of their uh, luscious, beautiful calls. let's do a quick update for you all. So I've been out for about maybe two hours now and mine is for Kingfisher and the greatest spotted woodpecker and you know a slight little glimpse of a jay. I still actually haven't really seen much. You know there's been a couple of a robins and blue tits, all these standard woodland species but nothing too amazing just yet as harsh as it is to say about robins. Now um, obviously I've got my fingers crossed hopefully I'll come across something soon but fact of the matter is this is wildlife photography this is kind of how birding goes there's a reason why for all the Nat, Nat Geo guys and all the BBC Earth guys spend months in the field just sat in a hide it's because you could wait around for months you know only see something for five minutes if that a couple of seconds you know a lot of the time I'm currently at a bit of a split you know a Y road a bit of a crossroad I can continue on to the right and follow the stream which looks a bit more picturesque it looks a bit nicer or I can follow the main sort of river down to the left. And that's Dell's Brook, I believe it's called. Now, I think I'm gonna follow the brook to the left. I don't think it looks as nice, but I think there's more of a chance to see a dipper. And I've still got the woodland around me, so I might see you know, maybe tree creepers or nut hatches. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open, fingers crossed, and we'll see how this goes. I was just checking the footage back of that last clip and a dipper actually just flew down this river and along the main sort of brook. So um, I'm going to follow the line, main brook along. I'm going to walk really slowly, really quietly, and just hope I come across it again. Um, dippers are kind of my white whale. I always seem to miss them. I only ever sort of seem to get a glimpse of them. I never get to actually just enjoy them and just, you know, sit down for 15 minutes and watch them. <laughs> With any luck, today might be the day. That was sick. Oh, maybe I should go a picture way. Oh. All right, choices, choices, choices. I'm gonna continue down the brook. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's been about an hour since my last update to camera. And I've basically spent that hour just walking up the river, well, the brook. And um, I haven't really seen anything, like, at all, to be honest. You know, there's a little grey wagtail, but other than that, even the usual sort of stuff like grey tits and your blue tits seem to have disappeared. I haven't seen any cold tits. You know, maybe it's because I've just had my eyes just pinned on the water, just hoping to see something dart up or down, but... I've come pretty far now, so what I think I'm going to do is turn back and go back to that sort of like crossroads in the path of the river where I initially saw the dipper. I want to go up the hill and follow the kind of like smaller stream, the smaller path, because I think the main river here is just too full, it's flowing too fast and there's just nowhere for the dippers really to stop. Also, because that smaller path kind of goes along the edge of a forest, I think you tend to get better results, you know, where sort of two different, you know, Eco, what's called, not eco sections, <laughs> ecosystems like counteract and uh, meet up. So I'm going to chill here for 10 minutes, have a quick bite to eat, have a drink, and then turn back around and get back onto that smaller path in about an hour. I should give one positive point though. The sun today has been absolutely brilliant. The weather's been great. Like the sun's been out all morning. You know, I've actually managed to take my jacket off for once, which is a rarity in like my sort of videos. You know, brought my big sort of thick winter coat, expecting it to rain and be really windy, but as of yet, it's been quite nice, you know, rocking a t-shirt. So, ah, you know, it's not all bad, is it? <laughs> Got to walk in the woods with some, ah, could be worse, could be a lot worse. So, my luck has just done a, a bit of a 180. Um, I've made it back to that little crossroady area, and um, while I still haven't seen any dippers, minus that one flyby, I just came across what I think are a pair of either marsh or willow tits. I'm not good enough to tell you the differences between them, especially while in the field, so I'll try to put some photos and a bit of B-roll on screen, and uh, please let me know what you think. So this is the sort of area which I really had in mind. The river here is a lot shallower, but it's also still really sort of quick flowing with all these like little rocks and sort of tree branches sort of sticking out from it. Hopefully giving the other dipper a perfect place to like perch and hunt from. <laughs> Gotta keep my eyes open, eh? <laughs> Evidently today, the wire forest is throwing me a few curveballs. I was just checking all the logs and whatnot, you know, going over the uh, brooks. And I just found two mandarin ducks, a male and a female. Did not expect to see them at all <laughs> here. I don't, know, uh, I don't know if they're common in the forest. I've never heard of sightings in the forest. I'm sure some people have seen them here before, but a bit of an odd one. I'm used to seeing them on like lakes and whatnot, but yeah, I guess here we go. But yeah, the forest is 
throwing me curveballs today. <laughs> I've walked no less than 30, 45 steps from where I took that Mandarin video. And um, I had a little something land to the left of me in a tree. I got my binos on it and I could see it as a woodpecker. And you know, I kind of thought it was like a juvenile or a grater. So got the camera, got a little bit of video. So, you know, I'm so sorry, it's, the footage is shaky as hell. So hopefully I can recover it in the venture. Well, um, it was a lesser spotted woodpecker. And that is my very, very first ever one. And I'm not talking like, first for the year I mean my very very first one ever I may not have found my target species today but the willow tits the mandarin <laughs> a lesser spotted woodpecker like you wait for one and three turn up all at once um I'm over the moon with that I thought this day was going a bit tit up in all honesty you know I hadn't really seen much um, I've been walking around for hours and got nothing but this last pff, bloody hell half an hour if that pff, yeah it's done me well <laughs> <laughs> it done me really, really well. So the sun, which I was so happy to see this morning, has gone behind the clouds and it's been replaced with a fair bit of rain, which has just lightened up a little bit. Enough time to me get an, to get an outro out. When I came here this morning to the wire forest, I did hope to see a dipper, and you know, I did for that split second. But you know, I didn't get a proper view of one. But I did get the two mandarin ducks, the two willow tits, and my first ever lesser spotted woodpecker. So I guess as for the dipper, it's a good excuse to return back to the forest. Hopefully when it hasn't been raining so much, so you know, the water level is a little lower. But, you know, I just want to say thank you for joining me once again. So I've got to be so quiet because I was just on my way back and um, it sounds horrible, there's a little pile of tyres in the river and I saw something white bobbing on it. So I had a little look and there it was. <laughs> he flew off for a second, I was like crap myself because I only had like a four second clip of the actual dipper on the uh, tyres. But walked around this path just a bit and thankfully <laughs> there he is just chilling on a little log. I honestly could not be happier today. Uh, truth be told, really sort of crappy start, you know, talking about how that's just wildlife photography, you know, you win some, you lose some. But I couldn't have ever asked for a better end to the day. <laughs> so finally with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Cheers. Mm -hmm.